I was raised to believe people should treat each other right, but a lot of the times they don't. Why won't you take care of your customer? What part of your job's done didn't you understand? Well, see, because you don't tell me my job's done. You're not a real taxi. Can you tell us who you are? They'll lie, cheat, and steal from you. Sir, we'd like to talk to you about possible prosecution for selling a stolen car. They think nobody cares. Okay, turn the camera off right now. I care, and that's why Trust Dale investigates. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. On this show, we investigate cases that fall into what we call the ripoff range. It's an area of the economy where consumers are defrauded of $500 up to $50,000 in a business transaction. But instead of treating it as a crime, law enforcement sees it as a civil dispute to be settled in civil court. Angela Hodges, owner of Don's Tree Experts, appears to have built her tree cutting business with this loophole in mind manipulating homeowners into paying her up front for tree services she never intended to deliver. You'll be looking at for both of them, $6,000. Mm. Wow. Um, the best price I can do, if you're ready to do it now, I probably can get it down to maybe about, uh, maybe about 55. Angela Hodges talks a great game. As the owner of Don's Tree Experts, she'll take down your trees and cut you a break, as long as you pay her in advance. So then she uh, told me that she could do it at a reduced price if I gave her the money in cash and signed the contract at that moment. It was a deal Deidre Stevens couldn't pass up. It felt a little fishy, but I just trusted her and what she said at that time. But trust is not Angela's strong suit. Once she gets the money, she leaves and in many cases doesn't come back. I didn't know what to do or what to say. When we told Deidre's story, our phone started ringing off the hook. Uh, Angela, that is, Hodges. Angela had came. Angela Hodges in person. Don's Don Tree Experts. Experts. Suddenly, 29 victims came out of the woodwork. Many had taken her to court. When I showed up, they told me that it had been rescheduled for May. That's where I'm involved in. Turns out, Angela's an expert at working the system. We reviewed court records and found a total of 46 cases that involved hundreds of hearings. But after thousands of dollars in judgments levied against her, Angela's never paid her victims one dime. She's a scammer. We didn't get our money. We need our money. And she need to go to jail. So we made it our business to hold Angela accountable. Hi, Ms. Hodges. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. How are you? Angela didn't like it one bit. Okay, I told you I do not conform. I do, I do not consent to you recording me to do right. anything. How does it and feel to be held accountable for this after you've taken all well, of this I'm, money from these people? As I stated, I do not consent to being recorded. Here's the problem. Magistrate or small claims court might be the place you win a judgment, but it stinks at helping victims recover their money and Angela Hodges has figured that out. So we encouraged her victims to go to police. All right, we're on the record case of Tavia Anderson versus Angela Hodges, case number 19H-01189. When Trustdale Investigates returns, you'll see Angela Hodges' victims start gaining the upper hand and backing the accused thief into a corner. On behalf of your victims, I wanna know how it feels to squirm in front of the judge the way you make There's your victims no squirming. Squirm. There's no squirming because I know what we do. I stand, I stand very firm on what I do. We know there's a lot of other cleaning companies to choose from. Not for me. I've tried those other guys. They just don't clean my home as good as these guys do. They even moved my furniture so my entire room gets clean. Our equipment cleans like no one else's, and our cleaning solution meets rigorous EPA Safer Choice standards with no harmful residue left behind. That's why I call. Call or visit stanleysteamer.com for local specials. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, the certified cleaner. 
It's impossible to overstate how important clean water is to your daily life. You drink, wash, and bathe in it. But sometimes it's not clear if your water is healthy or not. That's why Pure Life Water makes it as simple as possible to find out. Just schedule a free water test. Yes, free. A quick and easy screening can help you decide what direction you want to go to ensure clean, safe water throughout your home. Call Pure Life Water to schedule your free water test today. I don't you. agree. I don't believe that right. because we've been asking for your attorney's name okay. for two weeks. Well, Angela Hodges, the owner of Don's Tree Experts, is very good at evading justice. We're giving you every opportunity like to tell us your side of the story. As I stated, I do not consent to being recorded. And I've told your office that our attorney will be back in contact with you. And you, and, and again, you, you try to air some information that's not correct about us, we'll sue you. Well, and she says she's done nothing wrong. Could you apologize to Ms. Seymour? Apologize for Ms. Seymour? Apologize for Ms. Seymour for what? For taking her money. Doing over fifteen thousand from her. Doing over fifteen thousand dollars worth of work for her at a discounted price. But victim after victim and judge after judge have all come to the same conclusion. This serial con artist needs to be stopped. And here's how we helped her victims make it happen. Swear testimony you're about to give in this matter is true, so help you God or do you so affirm? I do. All right. Tavia Anderson is just one of many who had to prove to a judge that Angela's actions were more than just a business dispute. There are crimes. The defendant has shown a premeditated and in intentional intent to not only collect money for me, but 28 other homeowners and residents. And while Angela was a no-show in this criminal warrant hearing, Angela's attorney cross-examined Tavia putting her on the spot to defend herself. Wasn't there an uh, incident where you were not at home, where she attempted to do the service for you? Never. She's never showed up to do the service. Tavia even had to call and question her own witness, yours truly, to help her prove her case. And Sanderson and, and the other uh, alleged victims had discovered that uh, Ms. Hodges was very good at operating through the uh, system. Uh, we call it the ripoff range, where she's discovered that she can uh, avoid prosecution by making it appear as though it's a civil dispute. But finally, this judge, like no one before him, ruled to grant the warrant for arrest. All right, we're back on the record. Based on the evidence presented, I do find probable cause to issue the warrant. And Angela's attorney? Well, he was a bit at a loss for words. Mr. Crow, we'd like to give you an opportunity to talk on behalf of your client. Uh, I, I have to speak with her first. I have no comments at this time. Are you going to recommend that she surrender? Uh, yes, of course. Okay, thank right. you, sir. Well, Angela didn't surrender. Instead, she was picked up a few days later by the Sheriff's Department at her health club. And even though it's hard to see her face, there's no doubt where she is now. Ms. Hodges, did you uh, understand in warrant number 19W009388 that you're charged with theft by taking? Warrant number 19W009837, another count of theft by taking. 19W009838, another count of theft by taking. This is a misdemeanor count. And, wait, oh, 19W010301, theft by deception. Uh, Ms. Hodges, do you understand what you've been charged with? Yes. I have to admit, when I heard about her arrest, it made me smile. But when I shared the news with one of her victims, my heart soared. Hello. Hi, Patty. It's Dale Cardwell. How are you? I'm, I'm doing okay, Dale. I'm glad to hear it. I have some good news for you. Oh my God, what? We won the case. Angela Hodges is in jail. Oh my God. They picked her up this morning. Oh God, he's working in my favor. Yes. He's working in everybody's favor. Everybody's favor, finally. It might look like the end, but frankly, it's just the beginning. That's because our jails are so crowded with violent offenders, the court system will likely give this rip-off range offender the least possible punishment. That is, if she's even convicted. 
It'll be up to her victims to demand justice every step of the way. And Trustdale Investigates will be right there with them. Coming up. I look at the door every day and it makes me sick. It's a painting job gone bad. But instead of making it right, the company tries to bully the customer into paying more money to fix its own mistake. Watch as we push back. I'm Dale Cardwell with Trustell Investigates. How are you, sir? What, what, what's with the... Um, hear about Eric Tepper's front door. Uh, he... It's impossible to overstate how important clean water is to your daily life. You drink, wash, and bathe in it. But sometimes it's not clear if your water is healthy or not. That's why Pure Life Water makes it as simple as possible to find out. Just schedule a free water test. Yes, free. A quick and easy screening can help you decide what direction you want to go to ensure clean, safe water throughout your home. Call Pure Life Water to schedule your free water test today. We know there's a lot of other cleaning companies to choose from. Not for me. I've tried those other guys. They just don't clean my home as good as these guys do. They even moved my furniture so my entire room gets clean. Our equipment cleans like no one else's. And our cleaning solution meets rigorous EPA Safer Choice standards with no harmful residue left behind. That's why I call. Call or visit stanleysteamer.com for local specials. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, the certified cleaner. You can be the savviest consumer and still end up getting the shaft. Eric Tepper did everything right when he was hiring a professional painter to touch up his iron entry doors. But when workers botched the job, the owner of the company refused to take responsibility. That's when we stepped in. I look at the door every day and it makes me sick. I mean, it just ruins our day every day when we come home and we look at it. I mean, how can you not fix this and make it right. Eric Tepper and his wife hired a company to restore and paint an expensive iron door at the front of their home. And it, it was a mess. We started looking. There's paint all on the inside. There's paint all on the trim, all the way around. The door's like shiny, dull, shiny, dull. There's stuff all inside my house and overspray. And it, it, it's on my dining table, on my buffet, on my molding, on my trim. For $1,150, Eric expects the work to be done properly. And when he contacts the business about the poor results, they agree. So the painter returns the following day. But the paint job and tempers turn uglier. I want them to finish painting my door the correct way, the professional way. Um, and I want them to clean my house and fix my tables. The business hired to paint the front door is Scardino Doors. On its website, the company claims it can restore or create the finest doors in the world. We contacted Scardino Doors to get its side of the story. At first, the company agreed to talk with us, but then they wouldn't return our calls. And according to the Tappers, the business wouldn't call them back either. So we went to the office seeking a resolution. How are you? Who are you? I'm Dale Cardwell with Trustell Investigates. How are you, sir? What, what's with the... Um, hear about Eric Tepper's front door. Company owner Tom Scardino was upset we showed up at his office. This is what you're doing, is showing up with a camera crew, and you've got your coat and tie on, which looks very official. Okay, but um, I disagree with the way you're doing your business practice, and uh, I think that that's something that is... Um, needs to go on record. So. Well, Mr. Tepper is very appreciative of the fact that we're standing here holding you accountable when you thought that you held all the cards. The Teppers paid half the $1,100 cost when they signed the contract with Scardino Doors. But the contract also requires the remaining balance be paid before the work even begins, giving absolute control to Scardino Doors. But in the Tepper's case, Scardino did not collect the second payment prior to painting the door. So when they botch it, twice at the company's own admission, the owner then refused to send out another crew until the Teppers paid up. Contracts attorney Lisa Rose says despite the written agreement, the law now appears to be on the Teppers side. Well, there's definitely three issues at hand right here. One, the contract required the homeowners to pay in full before the work was to begin. However, the painting company didn't enforce their own terms and commenced work beforehand. The second issue is the workmanship of the work provided and whether or not it has deficiencies and meets a professional standard. The third issue is the homeowner sustained internal damage 
for the company's, the painting company's failure to mark and protect and cover their property. Okay. Do you think it's appropriate to take 100% of the money up front after you've acknowledged that the job was not done correctly? I think it's important to do business the way a company does business and is established that way with consumers over time. Okay, McDonald's takes your money before you do business with McDonald's. Isn't that correct? We're talking a lot more money than a burger and fries. Isn't that correct, Dale? In McDonald's situation, that is correct. Okay, okay let's stop things right here. Yes, McDonald's does require you to pay before you get your food. But if the French fries you ordered come out cold and soggy, McDonald's will immediately cook you a new order or refund your money. They won't drag things out for months. Okay, are we the only company that requires consumers to pay in advance? No, I think it's service? probably a bad practice for a consumer to pay 100% in advance, and I tell them so all the time. So even for McDonald's? Burgers and fries are not relevant. Do what any business would do. If you make a mistake, own it, fix it, make it right for the next one, and that's great customer service, but I just didn't get that here. We at Trustdale found a different iron door company that has offered to make the repairs for free for the homeowners. The new company believes demonstrating good customer service is truly the best way to treat their clients. Up next, at the mercy of an airline's maintenance schedule. It was pretty bad. Uh, the girls were crying. Um, my son was pretty angry. I was trying to stay calm. See how a major carrier's poor planning put a spring break vacation in jeopardy. We know there's a lot of other cleaning companies to choose from. Not for me. I've tried those other guys. They just don't clean my home as good as these guys do. They even moved my furniture so my entire room gets clean. Our equipment cleans like no one else's. And our cleaning solution meets rigorous EPA Safer Choice standards with no harmful residue left behind. That's why I call. Call or visit StanleySteamer.com for local specials. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, just certified cleaner. It's impossible to overstate how important clean water is to your daily life. You drink, wash, and bathe in it. But sometimes it's not clear if your water is healthy or not. That's why Pure Life Water makes it as simple as possible to find out. Just schedule a free water test. Yes, free. A quick and easy screening can help you decide what direction you want to go to ensure clean, safe water throughout your home. Call Pure Life Water to schedule your free water test today. Vacations should be a time to relax and enjoy yourself, but the hassle of getting to your destination can ruin your entire trip. Watch and learn because this could happen to you. It was pretty bad. Uh, the girls were crying. Um, my son was pretty angry. Rhonda Perling recalls her frustration with American Airlines and its employees. So I stood in the line for two hours from 9 to 11. And when we got to the desk, those two nice ladies had turned into pretty angry people. Rhonda was one of the chaperones for her son Josh and a group of graduating high school friends during a spring break trip to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. We had only flown American one time uh, about five years ago and didn't have any trouble. Um, so we didn't expect any trouble this time. But as their plane's departure kept getting delayed, it felt like their vacation plans would never take off. They had a mechanical problem, which I'm not exactly sure how a mechanical failure happens on the first plane out of the day. That seemed to be a major screw up on American Airlines. They did not bring another plane in. They did not care a bit. A mob of people were angry. So Rhonda flew into action. She, she was very strong. I haven't seen her like that ever, I don't think. Watching his mom use her savvy consumer skills was somewhat educational. She was very powerful the way she spoke. She wasn't too intense. And I kept standing there going, I know you're going to work this out. I stayed very calm because the angrier they got, the calmer I got, knowing that it would get worked out. Uh, and it didn't. American Airlines grounded the flight. 
So Rhonda found seats on a Delta plane, but American refused to transfer the tickets. So to get them to their spring break destination, Rhonda chose to foot the bill herself. And my son worked and made money for this trip. This wasn't about a parent paying for a kid to go on spring break. This is about a kid investing in, in his spring break and he earned the right to go. All year round, I was a karate teacher and I also worked at a warehouse uh, moving pallets of hospital gowns around and shipping them out to different hospitals. Rhonda and some of the teens did finally make it to the Caribbean on that Delta flight. It was amazing. Best spring break I could have ever asked for. The colorful beaches, delicious food, and vibrant town made for a successful trip. But once she got home, Rhonda continued her dispute with American. I kept telling them, oh, every week I kept emailing them saying, I'm not going to give up. I am a Georgia Bulldog, and I am a dog with a bone, and I'm not giving up. Rhonda wanted American Airlines to pay the price difference between her ticket with them and the new tickets she purchased on Delta. Despite her attempts to contact the CEO and even posting comments on social media, American Airlines wouldn't budge. That is, until Trustale got involved. I just want to say thank you to Trustdale for caring about our situation. I was just very appreciative that Trustdale came to our came to our, our aid to advocate for making things right with American Airlines. While American Airlines didn't speak publicly to us for this story, they did agree to refund money to Rhonda and her son. Rhonda tried all sorts of smart tricks before contacting us at Trustdale. Here are some tips you can use as well. Try emailing and calling customer service. Sometimes they're helpful. Use social media to publicize your story. Some businesses respond very quickly on Twitter. Seek assistance from senior employees of the company you can find. And finally, get Trustdale or other media groups to get the attention of the company so we can reach the public relations department for help because this could happen to you. Coming up, information you need to know to protect your car's value after an accident. So stating this is what we're willing to give you, I looked at it and it's just not, it's very low. Really, really a slap in the face. Consumer investigator Dale Cardwell, and this is Consumer News We Can Use. Fact or fiction? Can power surges destroy electronics in your home? Unfortunately, they can. Our expert, Andrew Navarro of RS Andrews Electric, explains how you can protect your valuables from voltage spikes. The only times that we're really aware of power surges are one, when we lo lose power altogether. Anytime the power is restored, there's always a surge associated with it. And the other times that we notice is when our lights flicker. Throughout the day, we're going to have hundreds of surges, small surges, hit our home, which will cause potential damage within that home and to our electronic components of the house. How do you properly surge protect a home? And we have a whole home surge protector that's a preemptive attack on these surges. What it's going to do is it's going to draw that amperage off of your home before it hits the rest of your house. Now the whole home surge arresters are rated for 100,000 amps at less than 5 nanoseconds. That's just about a lightning strike that can pull off your house and help protect your home. How many people call you after their electronics have been fried? It happens all the time and once we introduce the fact that we have surge protectors that would have protected their home from this, they're asking why they weren't in there in the first place. Every house out there should have a whole home surge protector. It's that important and crucial to your home. Does that protect every device in your home? There are a couple of things within the home that are not protected by a whole home surge arrestor, and that's going to be your low voltage stuff, such as your modems uh, for your TV, um, also going to be any kind of phone lines and fiber optics that you have coming to the house or your Cat5 lines. Uh, these things do need their own surge protection, and usually you can purchase those. Those are the ones you plug into the wall that you can plug your cable box into, and that's going to protect your low voltage stuff. Are you going to explain to me what it does and does not do? Absolutely. You can ask one of our experts when they're in the home for any further questions that you have to figure out how to protect your house fully. And this is Consumer News We Can Use. Don't let this happen to you. Find investigated and certified companies at Trustdale.com. And remember, every Trustdale company is backed by the Make It Right Guarantee. When you get into a car accident, regardless of who's at fault, your car loses value if it's been damaged. If you try to resell it, you may get significantly less money. But in some states, you're entitled to a diminished value payout from insurance. 
But you need to be careful to not fall for false promises because you could end up in the ripoff range. And this guy just ran a stop sign and just like nailed me like he Ariana Mraz says she was lucky to walk away uninjured um, but her sister Marissa says that's where her luck yeah, ended uh, well she called <laughs> me once the accident had already happened they were impounding his vehicle mm -hmm. because he didn't have insurance or license worse yet Ariana's car was totaled still yeah. owing money on the vehicle she filed a claim with her insurance Same. company but her okay. sister says the payout was pitiful really really a slap in the face familiar with normal. insurance issues marissa knew but there could be a less. way to get more money for ariana's loss your vehicle obviously is not going to be worth the same as a vehicle the same year same make same model that has not been in an accident so you're entitled to a depreciation check georgia is one of eight states with an appraisal clause which requires insurance companies to pay for a wrecked car's lost value i was like well let's see if we can hire a appraisal service a co-worker suggested marissa get in touch with drew brumfield a certified appraiser and owner of atlanta diminished value uh, i'm definitely in this to, to help y'all not not do anything um, shady or, or crooked so we paid andrew 300 bucks he cashed my check and then did not hear from him for several weeks i've got call logs here that show many attempts of trying to call him and after the fact online search showed brumfell's business was troubled long story short the story sounded the same in every complaint he Pretty much was all in until he got paid. That's when so. the sisters called the Trustdale team. Our research found Brumfield was operating without a license. Coupling that with the number of complaints, we decided to sting him. I'm Shay. Nice to meet you. Nice as well. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Posing as a vehicle owner who needed an appraisal, Brumfield quickly set up a time and place to meet us. And then your it's three hundred dollars and that's what? regardless of what you think you can get me or how does well, that work it's 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 it doesn't change if you're asking if it goes up or anything there's no there's no fluctuation and you so, collect that money like today yes okay Where's the principal Mr. Brunfield, Dale Cardwell trust Dale investigates how are you today good how you doing 21 people online that say you take money in advance but you never deliver a report and then they can't find you after you've taken their money that's a pretty lucrative business isn't it uh can be yeah, to take $300 to take, no, from someone in advance. Gonna, don't put words in my mouth there. Okay. Okay. Dollars you guys have a good day, man. I, that's not at all how it went down. That's not at all what the, the situation was. Even though Brumfield walked away from us, he didn't get away like with perpetuating his scheme. He shut down his business after police ordered him to pay back two victims. So how can you get the most of a diminished value claim? First, see if your state allows you to pursue it. If the answer is yes, search for a reputable diminished value appraiser online. Thoroughly check their reviews and ask for 20 references. If you contact at least three of those references and get good feedback, you should be safe to proceed. Follow these smart buyer tips to avoid getting caught in the ripoff range. If you'd like to see the outtakes of our investigation into Angela Hodge's shady tree business, you can visit Trustdale.com. Click on our media page to see our complete sting courtroom confrontations, and hear how her victims are reacting to her arrest. Also on my website, you can order my Consumer Protection Handbook, Don't Get Scammed, Get Smart, Seven Simple Steps to Becoming a Savvy Consumer. Thank you all so much for watching today, and we'll see you next time Trustdale Investigates.